I mean, part of it, the left has to own. They are aggressively anti-common sense. Mm -hmm. The Democrats keep running on this one idea, saying to the American people, you can't possibly think you can do worse than Donald Trump. And they keep saying, yes, we can. Yes, we can. And I understand that. I do. I would never vote for Donald Trump. And as I said, I think the Republicans are worse. But yeah, when, when, you know, it's funny, when I talk to, you know, my friends around my age, 40, (laughs) and they are always bitching to me about their kids who are like in their 20s, and they're like super uber woke, and they're driving their parents crazy. And everything is like, you don't get it, mom. That's old thinking. And I'm like, don't get what? Abolish the police? Tear down statues of Lincoln? Maybe give communism another shot? Get rid of the border patrol? Get rid of capitalism? White supremacy has never been worse? Gender is always just a social construct? It's okay to have penises in the women's swimming pool and women's prisons? No, it's not that I'm old. It's that your ideas are stupid. And see, that's the difference between a baby boomer liberal and a more, like my generation, I'm a millennial, a millennial liberal. A millennial liberal will be considered a progressive if he was born at the time of the baby boomers, right? And this is the reality of political discourse. I know a lot of like older liberals get mad when I generalize and say that liberals are doing this, liberals are doing that. They're like, no, that's not liberals. Those are progressives. Those are extremists on the far left. But liberalism has brought this about because in a day, this is the funny part about liberalism is that it needs conservatism to survive because liberals are ideologically and naturally are critics while conservatives are naturally defenders of tradition of enduring ideas and wisdom because end of the day if you got a good idea and it gets adopted and you want that idea to be perforated to the next generation you have to conserve it and this is why i say conservatism i tend to fall under conservatives more than liberals is because conservatives 80 percent of the time are more right then liberals, why are you saying that? Most new ideas are bad. Most old ideas, they're old for a reason because they're durable. They withstand, they've been tested by the the the, the annals of time. They're time-tested ideas that's been around for how many years they've been around. There's a reason why those ideas last so long and they're perpetrated to the next generation because they're still useful. Liberalism is an ideology that question, hey, is this idea still useful in this age? And I like how Bill Mark came into the argument. He essentially said that, yo, Democrats, if you concede that being common sense is right wing, you will lose. And that is something that the left doesn't seem to understand about Donald Trump, right? Because we say, hey, Donald Trump's saying common sense stuff. What is a nation if it does not secure its borders? How can you have, if you don't have law and order, how people can feel safe in their country? How could people coming into this country respect the laws of this country when the first thing they did was break the laws in this country? When you make up these common sense uh, arguments, this is how Democrats will argue with you. And I, I'm no, I, I want to make this kind of lighthearted video and I don't want to make it too long, but this is what it feels like to argue with a Democrat. And I'm sure a Democrat will make a meme and say, this is how it feels to argue with a, a conservative. But a conservative like evidence, a conservative like facts, if you can show a conservative that something exists with evidence, not quoting some expert, but actual evidence, and he can observe that evidence, he's more like he's more inclined to believe you, but not a Democrat. And this is what it's like arguing with them. Let's let's take a quick clip. Nope. Sorry. Kevin Bacon wasn't in Footloose. What? Of course he was. No, he wasn't. You lose. Of course he was. He was the star. Nope. He- you're wrong. Look it up. I don't have to look it up. It's common knowledge. Nope. He was on the nope. cover of No nope. People magazine nope. when the movie nope. came. Everyone nope. knows Kevin nope. Bacon was a star nope. of Footloose. No, nope. it was nope. a huge movie. Nope. He was the nope. lead. No, 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 no. Oh my god! Yeah, that, I like, I like, I like that. That 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 was a funny one. I hope I hope that brings you some lightheartedness. But Bill Maher is calling out the stupidity of his own side, and that's one thing I can respect about the older liberals. They're starting to realize, yo, these we we are raising some extremists out here, right? Every day I wake up, we manage to sink further into further stupidity. It is now at the bottom. Now experts are asking whether milk is racist as part of a taxpayer funded research taxpayer funded research project into connections between milk and colonialism. Yep, this is what you're spending taxpayer money on. 
right? While we're dealing with inflation, right? We have national security concerns. You got people finding out that they're paying double what they're paying two years from now, but Democrats keep telling you, no, let us keep spending money on you. This man's groceries went from $126 to $414 for the same exact items in just two years. That This is unsustainable. It's time for real change. Elections have consequences. And this is why I said, like in my view, no one should be voting Democrat in 2024 unless you're a rich, wealthy person. Because only rich, wealthy people could afford to vote Biden. That's just my argument. And the argument that... Uh, Communism and other sorry. penises... Yeah, the, 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 the argument that Bill Maher finished bringing up is that this lacks common sense. You can't keep gaslighting American people and saying the economy is good when cost of living is up. Job opportunities are very limited. Ask college graduates today uh, if they could get a career right now. It's hard to get in right now. But it's a strong economy. You're using government money to create jobs. Right? And this is the consequences of getting government benefits. Government benefits cause inflation. Student loan forgiveness, right? Biden unconstitutionally is uh, forgiving student loan, student loan debt, even though the court says you can't do that. Congress has to do that. He's doing it anyway. And it's contrib- 27% of inflation is contributed to the fact that Biden is forgiving student loans. Stupid ideas. But you're weighing politics over the good of the country. And this is the problem that I have with the left and the liberals because they're, well, for the most part, spineless to stand up against their own. And I want to show a quick clip before I, I continue uh, giving one more minute of Bill Maher finishing chastising his own side of Joe Rogan because these are the liberals that I respect. I respect Joe Rogan. I respect Bill Maher. I still don't agree with him, but I respect him for, for doing this because I believe that is the, the fact that baby boomer liberals did not do this earlier enough is why it got so bad in the first place. But I digress. Let's check out Joe Rogan questioning this person on their logic about transgenderism. Let's take a look. Joe Rogan stumped this trans activist with a simple question. If they think that they're a girl, why do you have to give them hormones to make them more of a girl? Uh, because... I'm sorry, can you expand on the question? It's a simple question. So you're going to give the child hormones? Mm Mm-hmm. If the child thinks it's a girl, let it be a girl. Why are you adding hormones? You're affecting the child's development. That's nonsense. Of course it's a choice. You're choosing to chemically change this child's body. You're choosing to inject things into this child's body on a regular basis that are going to radically affect the physical development of their body. Yeah. And you're saying that this isn't a choice. Well, it's definitely a choice to do that. Yeah. Makes no sense. No consistency, no logic. Just you believe it. Believe it. Is this what liberals believe? I don't think so. So let's hear uh, Bill Maher continue decimating the stupidity of his side, right? Just like conser- I believe conservatives call out their side more frequently than liberals call out their side. This is why it's so revolutionary that Bill Maher is doing this. Because it's so rare to see liberals holding each other accountable. Because this is the only way you can check extremism. If both sides check the right wing... Everyone's going to be like, all right, that's fine. But if the right wing is the only one checking the left wing, the left wing is going to project it as, oh, this is bias. No one, no, this is, uh, this is just political. And you let the extremists on your side get, get more and more wiggle room. And this is why progressivism is able to wear liberalism like a skin suit, the same way a trans person wear a woman face, right? That's, that's the argument that a lot of conservative and, ma- and many women will make about the transgender stuff. But I digress. Let's let's finish more into this clip. In the women's swimming pool and women's prisons. Okay, no, okay. it's not that I'm old. It's that your ideas are stupid. <laughs> and well, okay. So, so you're very so you're very cantankerous. When obviously. people talk about Trump, they should. That's what they should be talking about. Like, why do people? Because a lot of conservatives say to me, "What you don't get about Trump is we don't like him either." Right. Yeah, they just hate the other stuff more. And I don't understand. I, I don't blame them because. A yeah, and then you get dumb people in... Sorry, I, I'm, I'm really stuck on this comment. Call him, saying that I'm taking the Trump juice, but they don't understand that, yo, to me, Trump's just a vehicle of what I want. Trump gives me more of what I want than Biden does. Simple. But then, you know, liberals, Democrats can't accept the reality that they're just pushing bad ideas. 
right? You have to be a liberal, nothing else. That's what a lot of liberals believe. I'm sorry. That's what a lot of Democrats believe. And if you don't perpetrate that, especially if you fit a certain skin color with their, you know what, racist butt, you're drinking the Trump Kool-Aid. Oh, you're part of a mega cult. Does that sound like a cult to you? People who personally don't like Trump are still going to vote for Trump because he's what's best for them, their country, their economy, their family, and their pocket. But you still want us to vote Biden because of what? Feelings. This is why I said the day that it feels like that already, but the left has made common sense right wing. You're going to lose. If common sense is right wing, then everyone's a conservative at this point. And this is why Bill Maher's calling you guys out as being stupid, progressive, millennial, liberals. But keep chastising us. Keep, keep being smug and condescending. Keep acting like you're so much more intellectual than everyone else. Keep it up. Because I, that, I believe that's alienating more people than actually bringing in more people. A lot of it is closer to their own home. Like the things you hate about Trump, democracy, I understand why that's the biggest issue. But a lot of people, it's kind of vague. Uh, Ukraine's very far away. But, you know, the stuff about family and mm -hmm. race and gender, it's very close to their own home. Yeah. And, and, and yet you could argue that it's the sort of the octogenarians who are really causing most of the problems at the moment. I mean, you know, you, you, you're quite sort of tough on the, on the millennials, but... You know, they have to deal with all these, these, these octogenarians who refuse to leave the stage, who've left them bankrupt, who, you know, who've well, taken all their social security. So there is a lot of angst well, there. Well, actually, that the older people this time are, are for Biden. Yeah, this is the true. first time in many, many elections where the older crowd, that's why I'm with my editorial Friday night, was talking about this for the first time. Yep, there's a generational gap. And this is the funny part about the Democratic Party. They don't even notice this realignment. I'm a millennial. I'm 28 years old. Young, man. Two, I have a wife. I have two kids. Young family. And we're seeing, yo, Biden is literally extracting all the value out of the country. The only one who's going to benefit from the value right now, inflation right now, is baby boomers because they hold most of the wealth, most of the assets. This is why older voters are trending towards Democrats. And young people are trending towards Republicans. But you can't tell an old head nothing. This is my problem with the older black, people, black community. They didn't, they didn't have no assets. They don't have nothing to ha pass down to the next generation. And they didn't want to wiggle their fingers at me, at a young black man, saying, you better vote Democrat. If you don't get your coon ass out of my face, this is the type of stuff that pissed me off. You don't understand nothing you're talking about. Ignorant people in my comment section telling me how I'm supposed to vote. Like they know me. Just because I scare, share skin color with me with you doesn't mean you know me. You wasn't brought up like I was brought up. I have different priorities. I have different things that I care about more than you do. There's a lot of men that are single. I have a family. I have more people to think about just just me. And I want to vote on, oh, because a, a, a political person makes an accusation of racism towards another person. You think I'm supposed to vote against that? Like that? FDR, the New Deal. Remember, black people got excluded from the New Deal. Black people still voted for FDR 77% because they weighed the call, the pros and cons. Yeah, this guy may be a racist administrator, but I could benefit from the New Deal, so I'm going to vote for this guy. He won 77% of the black vote in 1936, I believe. And then when the New Deal came and then black people still got cut out of it, why you ain't calling the black community in the 1930s coons? But me, I make a, same, a similar decision and you got a different criteria. Picking and choosing, picking and choosing, right? But so be it. Because this is why I said black people, y'all can't afford Biden. Technically, y'all can't afford Biden. Biden's for wealthy people, for older people. And the average age in the black community is younger than the average age in the white community. But you're voting along with the white, white people? But you have the audacity to call me coon. Democratic Party has been the whitest it's ever been. But you're calling me a coon. Maybe you you should open up your per you know, you know, you know, I, I know black America is kind of narrow minded. Maybe you need to open up your worldview a little bit more and and try to seek to understand hmm, why are some black people walking away from the Democratic Party? Why are some black people are openly talking against the Democratic Party instead of trying to cascade them and say, oh, you're you're part of a mega cult. Sound like you don't have an argument. That's what I hear. 
I'll let, I'll let Bill Maher finish it off, and then I'll give my final thoughts. They are lining up behind Biden more than the Republican. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be mean to the millennials or the Gen Zs, but, you know, when I see them with their Queers for Palestine banners. I know. That's, that's the one that really like, gets to you. I'm I out. Okay. I know. Yeah. I'm out. And that's what a lot of people are saying. That's what a lot of black men are saying. I'm out. Why do we keep perpetuating this party that is for welfare, which you can make the argument incentivize you to be comfortable in poverty, and then the same people will complain about how there, there's a racial wealth gap. Make it make sense. Disproportionately, black people are overrepresented in welfare. 23% of welfare recipients are black when you're only 13% of the population, but you want to focus on the white people. No, focus on what you're doing. You're a minority in this country, and you're overrepresented in welfare. And then when Republicans try to make steps like opportunity zones, give you opportunities where you can take responsibility for yourself. Because at the end of the day, whoever is responsible for you has control over you. If you're on the welfare system, the government has uh, control over you. This is why black women are the most loyal Democratic voters. Yes, I'm going there. Because I'm tired of liberals sitting here wagging their fingers at a black conservative because he believed different. He believed government is more of a problem than a help. Because a black conservative believe government, get out of my way. Get out of my face. Because you do more harm than good. Government don't get punished when they're wrong. Look at the inflation rate. Biden's still closed. How is that so? Because people are voting with their feelings instead of with their logic. And last time I was, how I grew up, I guess this is what happened when you were raised by a conservative father. Nothing ever gets done with your feelings. That's, that's how I was brought up. That's how I, was, I, that's how I grew up. That's my culture. But the black community can't sit here and tell me how, from a rational point of view, why I should vote Democrat. All I hear is, oh, you're a black man, you vote for Democrat? Oh, oh, uh, criminal justice, all this, all these buzzwords. But then when I ask questions about it, you I find out, okay, so you just want special treatment because of your skin color. That's what it boils down to. And Democrats are willing to pander to that. That's the reason I should vote Democrat. All right, I'm done with my rant. Let me know your thoughts about Bill Maher criticizing the stupidity of the Democrats. Do you agree with him? Don't agree with him? I'd like to hear it in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I really do appreciate you guys watching the end of the video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.